I have asked my friend Justin, who is from Hadley's Peekaboo Boxing School, uh, here to help me. And the reason that I asked Justin to help is because boxers know how to punch uh, and recoil. So when he's standing here and we set up and the fight is inevitable, what I want Aikido people to understand is that uh, when he punches at me, uh, he's going to bring his fist back, like he's going to punch fast and bring it back. It's going to stay out there for just a moment and come right back. So in Aikido schools, what I see often is that they'll punch and just leave it out here until the Aikido person picks up the technique. What I want you to understand is that to pick up any technique, he's going to be coming into my space. You know, he's going to be coming in and trying to hit me, and so I have to move. But I can't be afraid that he's going to engage me. To be comfortable in this proximity is very important, and know that he's going to be punching and bringing his fist back. Boom. Once hands start flying, it's difficult to catch a technique because everybody is moving quickly. Um, it's easier to not get hit than it is to pick up a technique and really follow through with it in many cases. Um, however, uh, as Aikido practitioners, we learn to read uke. And the best chance you have, I think, is to catch them at the very, very beginning. Um, so if we're standing here and I understand that the fight is imminent and he's there and he's ready to go, I want to move as he moves. Like when he decides he's gonna move, I want to move already. So as he's moving, I want to already be here. I don't want to wait and try to let him start throwing punches first and then deal with it. As he moves, I wanna move. And I caught it. <laughs> Um, so as he first decides to move, I want to attack his head, I want to attack his body, I want to, I want to move through it. Um, we also want to use the attacker's intention against them. What I mean by that is that if he is punching out here and it's hard to catch this, I know where he's coming back to, right? So even if he's punching slow right now so you can see what I'm doing, and I come up here, I can come up behind it, and he's handing me his hand, right? I still have to watch out for this one. But as he's punching, um, he's bringing it back to me. I'm using his intention. He's intending to bring his hand out of harm's way, but he's bringing it into my technique. Um, and the same way, as he's punching, I want to come under, you know, and then I can begin to do things there. But uh, I need to catch him with good timing. So as he's going, I'm under here, and I can walk off the screen. <laughs> as he's punching, I can. As he's punching, I can come under and take him down. <laughs> so while we are using the opponent's uh, movement and attention against them, uh, we can uh, get behind them. We can use Tenkan, we can stuff like that to uh, get him off balance and be behind him. Um, as I get behind him, you know, I can open him up, and many people don't seem to expect that. You know? When he punches, I need to think that I'm not going to catch a technique every time. If I think that I'm going to catch a technique every time, punch, and bring back, punch. I didn't catch anything, but he didn't hit me either. The more important thing is to not get hit as much as possible. And so, so as he punches, if he punches two or three times, I'm moving out of the way. With my wheel that I've mentioned in the past, where I'm creating a wall between me and the attacker, I'm not expecting to catch a technique just because he throws a punch. 
So, I mean, I'm gonna catch probably one out of 10, maybe. Uh, who knows? But as he punches at me, I'm creating a wall where he doesn't hit me either, right? And so then I want to move to a place of dominant position. So as he punches, he's not hitting me, but I'm not getting hit either. So when he punches at me, um, people tend to think in uh, combinations. Like, like people tend to think in one or two, or one, two, three, or something like that. So if I can just keep him from hitting me during his whole combination, he'll slow down or pause when his mind gets to the end of that combination, and then there's a small open. So if he's striking at me, you know, <laughs> so when he's striking at me, right there, he, he stopped momentarily, just enough for me to at least smack him or grab him or something. Um, <laughs> you threw me off. <laughs> uh, as you see um, before in, in that, uh, I just kind of ended up with his hand in my hand. Like I wasn't consciously catching it, I just ended up with it. Um, and his, in his mind, uh, his combination was over. You know, and it, it was just available. Um, it's never easy to catch a technique. Um, uh, what you need to understand is that in reality, you will face a barrage of punches or kicks or both. Um, and it's never a one and done movement. Like in schools, uh, just hold this out here, you'll see people punch and they'll do this and then it's just over. You know, like they throw them and whatever and it's big and pretty and it's just over and the guy's like, oh man, I hit the ground. Well in real life, if he punches here and I cut him down, he's gonna come around and hit me with his arm and come back up. You know, so I can't get stuck in the idea that if he punches and I catch it, that it's over, it's not over yet, because he's still coming up, he's still standing up, I have to watch for this one, he's coming around with this elbow, or whatever it is he's gonna do. So I have to keep going and going and going, until it's over, it's never a one and done movement. Uh, you keep moving, you keep moving. <laughs> so, back up, um, so what, I'm gonna demonstrate now is where he's just gonna keep coming after me and I'm gonna hopefully keep not getting hit. <laughs> You're not even trying to <laughs> So one more concept that I would like to talk about uh, is in Aikido, the timing should never be, uh, he's gonna punch me, then I'm gonna punch him, or he moves, and then I'll move, or anything like that. Aikido atemi, atemi is what I'm talking about here. Atemi should be done at the same time, like, like uh, he punches and I'm going to hit him at the same time. It's not a, oh, I catch this, and then I come in and punch him. So as he punches, I'm also hitting him at the same time. This is very important because, uh, without punching, as he's moving toward me, I'm moving toward him, which causes the force uh, to be great, like a 30 mile an hour car and 30 mile an hour car and 60 mile an hour impact. So as he's punching, I get out of the way, but I'm hitting him at the same time. So, right? Or, or I'm punching him. Let's say I'm striking him. You know? Or at the same time, uh, which is also... I don't feel very capitalized on in many schools. Um, I have been privileged enough to have teachers over the very long course of my martial arts history <laughs> uh, who understand how to fight. <laughs> um, and they have, they have taught me a great deal and I appreciate that and uh, have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.